Hello, I'm Suresh Kunal. You are most welcome to this video session. And this is a quick video to demonstrate how you can attempt online quiz in mcqsets.com. So let me open the browser first. Here it goes. So on your browser window, in the address bar, enter the address of website that is mcqsets.com. Type it and press enter. You will land on the home page of MCQ Sets website. You can click on the home and go to the quiz menu from here. Or when you are on the landing page, you could click on this quiz and choose your topic for the online quiz. For this demonstration, I'm going to show you the quiz from Fundamentals. So let me click here. It lists the posts of Computer Fundamentals MCQ quiz pages. So choose any one of them. Let me choose the first one. When you reach here, you are asked to enter your email address in this box this is my email address and now you can start answering these questions like the first question is a or an uh, what device is any device that provides information which is sent to the cpu would it be input would it be output would it be cpu or memory there are four options and only one option among these four options is the correct answer so among these four answers my choice will be this input unit why are vacuum tubes also called valves we have four options because they can amplify the weak signals and make them strong because they can stop or allow the flow of current both of above, none of above. My choice for this question would be the second option. On the third question, bit stands for binary digits, bits of system, a part of byte, and all of above. I will choose the first option. So this way, you can go on reading questions, options, and choose your answer. And when you finish answering all these questions, there's a button at the bottom of this page to submit. So click on this submit button when you answer, when you mark all these questions. Click on this submit button. It will take a little time and show you the result. Here is the result. Uh, you scored 3 correct out of 20 questions. And you scored 15 points. One correct answer is awarded 5 points. And one wrong answer reduces 1 max, 1 score uh, from your collection. And below, you can see the answer sheet. The question is marked the, with the green color. Your selection is marked with the blue color. And the correct answer is marked with a checkbox. So on the first question, I marked the first option, input, and that was correct. On the second question, I marked the second option, and it happened to be correct. Similar to the third question, I marked the first option and it was correct. In case of fourth question, I did not select any option. The correct answer is the first option. So this way, and when you have not selected, the question was not answered, is displayed uh, below the question. And why this particular answer is the correct answer? For some question, you can find the explanation like this. So this way you can see. Uh, the explanation why this particular uh, option should be the correct answer of this question. Uh, you can find them for some questions. So when you go down this way, you will see the question, its options and the correct answer. At the bottom, you can see the top scorers of uh, the users of this site. And there's a chart displayed to show your score 
compared to the average points scoring by other users. Uh, that's the quiz. Then you can go to attempt next quiz if you wish. Let me click it here. It will open the next quiz, the next set of questions. If you have not logged in, you can enter your email address here and attempt the question so that your results sheet, this page, so that this page will be emailed to your inbox. For that purpose, you can enter your email address here or if you are already a member of this website, you can log in. Simply click on the Facebook button to log in with your Facebook username and password. You can log into MCQ sets through Facebook. Click on this uh, Google button to log into MCQ sets through your Google username and password, Gmail ID. Similarly, you can log in through the Twitter also and Yahoo uh, email address also. So this is the next state. You can similarly go on answering these questions and click on the submit button when you have answered all those questions. Okay, that's all. It's a very easy process, isn't it? So, uh, this much for this video. And next video, I'll be talking about other aspects of the website. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time.